In this video, you'll see how to plan and monitor application migration using AWS Migration Hub. With this service, you can discover servers, including server profiles, performance utilization, and network connections, plan migrations to the cloud using Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instance recommendations and cost estimates, and track the status of each migration. To get started, let's navigate to the AWS Migration Hub service. The first time you visit the service, you'll see this landing page, which outlines the three steps typically used in a migration. Discover, Assess, and Migrate. You can also choose whether to get started with Discovery or with Migration. You can learn more about the different migration workflows on the Help and Support page. Next, let's switch to a view of this service that shows migration projects in process. As you can see, this dashboard provides a quick overview of the status of the migration projects. Let's take a look at the three steps involved in a typical migration and how Migration Hub can help you manage them. The main screen for the Discover step shows all the servers and applications that have been discovered to date and the status of any agents running on those servers. Let's take a look at the available Discovery tools. In order to plan the migration from your data centers to AWS, you can either import data from an existing source or perform a detailed discovery using Discovery Connector or Discovery Agents. Once you have used these tools to discover your servers, you will see them listed on the server screen. Let's go there now. You can sort the list by the source providing information on each server. You can also drill down into a specific server to review more detailed information about it. For instance, you can view its utilization data, which will help with planning your migration. Let's return to the server screen. You can also group and track servers as a single application, which is the recommended way of managing a migration. To do this, select the servers that you want to group. Next, select Group as Application. In this case, select the option to group the two servers as a new application. Now provide an application name and click Save. You can now track these servers as a single application on the application screen. Here you can track the status of all the application migration projects you are managing. You can also change the status of an application at any time. Let's change this application's status to In Progress. Next, let's take a look at the Data Collectors screen. This screen allows you to view and manage the health and status of all connectors and agents that are providing server data to support your migrations. In this case, no connectors are currently being used. The Agents tab shows the status of agents that have been installed on specific servers. You can set an agent to stop and start data collection at any time. Data collected during discovery is stored in the Migration Hub and is accessible in your AWS account. You can optionally choose to store agent-collected data in an Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, bucket, where you can analyze it using Amazon Athena. Athena is a fee-based service that makes it easy to analyze data using standard SQL. Let's navigate there to query the data. Let's display a preview of the data on operating systems that has been collected. You can also build dashboards and ad hoc visualizations of your data in other services, such as Amazon QuickSight, a cloud-powered business analytics service. Let's open QuickSight to see a visualization of this data. Next, let's return to Migration Hub and move on to the Assess step of a migration. You can use the EC2 Instance Recommendations tool to get data-driven, right-sized instance recommendations for your servers. First, select your preferred CPU and RAM sizing criteria for discovered servers to determine an equivalent EC2 instance match. We'll select Average Utilization. Scroll down to review the rest of the preferences. You can also choose to exclude certain EC2 instance types from the recommendations. Once you have made all your selections, select Export Recommendations. 
After a few minutes, your recommendations will be ready to download. Open the spreadsheet to see the recommendations that were generated. Scrolling to the right, you can see a column that shows the recommended EC2 instance type for each server to be migrated to. You can also see cost estimates, which are based on instance type, geographic region, and the sizing criteria specified earlier, among other factors. Next, let's return to Migration Hub to review the third step in the process, which is to perform the actual application migration. The main screen for the Migrate step shows the status of the applications you are managing for migration. The Tools screen shows the tools available to assist you in performing the migration, including AWS Server Migration Service, Cloud Endure Migration, and Partner Solutions. You can also leverage the AWS Database Migration Service to help you migrate databases to AWS easily and securely. The Migration Update screen shows the status updates sent from all the supported migration tools, so you can track them in one location. As in the Discover step, you can go to the Application screen to update the status of your application migrations. Let's change this application's migration status to Complete It. You've just seen how to plan and monitor application migration using AWS Migration Hub. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.